What's up guys, Philip here, and I am back in the garage to take y'all with me for a little home gym update. It's been a little while since I did a home gym tour. I um, mean, a few things have changed, so I figured that I would take y'all along with me, um, show you guys the space, what has changed, what has moved around, and give you guys just an overall feel of what is in here now. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, so gonna go ahead and say that I'm not gonna cover things I have previously covered in other tours um, very much because I've already talked about them, but just to give you all a general layout of the space, there is a little open space right here in the middle and everything else kind of centers around it. So just giving you all a little bit of a pan around so you get a good idea of what is in here. And then we will talk about the pieces kind of individually. So starting with the piece that I got pretty much first, this Rep PR5000 Power Rack. Really like this, it is their flagship power rack and it has been a beast for me. So it has the multi-grip pull-up bar and it also has some double circle um, wood ring straps here. I keep the wood rings inside, but those are permanently mounted to the pull-up bar. So have that. Now I have plenty of attachments for this power rack. I have a couple of J cup options, these are the rep lower J cups. I'm not overly crazy about them. They are the first J cups I had. Um, they are not on the power rack very well and the UHMW spins a lot, but they are what I started with. And then I moved on to a pair of Titan roller J cups. They are not pretty, but they get the job done and they do their job well, at least in my experience. So. After that, the next evolution in J cups was, or J cups, or you know whatever you lift a bar out of in a power rack was the Titan monolift attachments. They've been great, and I have really enjoyed them. But they do get chewed up pretty well. You can see the divot um, in there from my power bar. So next, move on to a few pairs of safeties that I have. I have the flip down safeties that I got first, and I really do like those, but um, they don't work as well when you squat with a wider hand placement. Um, they kind of impinge on where your hands go, um, and so it's hard to squat, I guess you can say responsibly with them and not chop your fingers off, at least in my experience. So went ahead and also got a pair of strap safeties that I use for squats. These work much, much better, and they kind of move out of the way of your hands if you have a wide hand placement, I mean, you touch them. So they have been great. They also make failing a squat a lot more, or a lot easier, a lot less jarring. So I keep the flip downs set up for bench um, all the time, and then I move the safety straps around. So next, talk about the landmine that I have attached to, to the power rack right here, and then the plates that I have on the plate storage peg. So I have six sets of Rogue Deep Dish 45s that I've really enjoyed, and I have a set of Deep Dish Rogue 25s that I keep up here, and then just a few sets of beater weights to tens of five and a two and a half on each side so I can touch pretty much any number I want to. Now, in the power rack, I have a Rep FB5000 frame with a Griffin wide pad on it. Um, no modifications needed. They are perfectly compatible. So I've really enjoyed that bench. Now, moving on, I have some dumbbells, the badass dumbbells up to 172 and a halves for each dumbbell. And I have three sets of pegs or little pins for them. These are the shortest pair. And then I have pairs that are compatible up to 122 and a halves and 172 and a halves. So I do have two sets of handles. These are their old versions that they sent as a replacement when I warrantied them. Um, yes, I did warranty them. They have a lifetime warranty. And then he also threw in a pair of these fat grip um, new version handles. These are the only types that he sells, I do believe. So 
liked these pretty well. Now, moving on, I also have a Rep AB5200. Really like it. It's a beast, but it is kind of hard to move, so be aware. Um, it does have wheel wheels on it, though, and it can store vertically, so it fits kind of really nicely just in that little nook right there. Now, moving on to the bars, I have a six-position gun rack here, starting with the Edge Fitness Slim Football Bar at the top. Um, they don't make this anymore, I, I don't believe, but it has been good for um, while I've had it. Now, next down is the Titan Axle Bar with a little T-Bar row attachment right there that I just kind of keep on it all the time because I use it for calisthenics rows and T-Bar rows. That's what that bar is for pretty much at this point. Now, moving down, I have the Rogue Ohio Deadlift Bar in all of Drab Cerakote that I really enjoy using. It's one of my most used bars, and I've pulled up to 625 on it at this point. So it's gotten its fair bit of use. Now, moving down, I have the Rogue Ohio Power Bar in a stainless shaft with a proprietary matte black sleeve. Got that for this past Black Friday. It was a great deal, and I sold my black Cerakote version to a good buddy to keep it in the family because I still love it, but not overly crazy with these proprietary matte black sleeves. Um, they have shown quite a bit of wear. They wear the um, paint or whatever off of your plates, and you can kind of see it right there. It's, I'm not overly crazy about this, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm not losing too much sleep over it, and this, this feels great. This Ohio Power Bar Knurling without a coating is probably my favorite, so under... That, I do have the Rep Deep Neural Power Bar EX. I do really like that bar, and at this point, its main function in my gym is as a stiff bar when I deadlift. So that's what I use, because I've already chewed up the sleeve some with it. You can see where all the plates go, basically. Um, and so it kind of already has that role. It's worked its way in there, so. Next, I will talk about the Titan SSB that I have. I really do like this bar. It's made well, it's a great value, and it really helped me when I tore my pec and I wanted to try to squat, um, but couldn't get my arm back into position for a barbell squat. So it has a soft spot in my heart, or, or a special place in my heart, if you will. So moving on, we have a deadlift platform that I built with my dad. This was literally the first thing that went into this gym. Um, and I went ahead and put a little logo on there, stained it, clear coated it, and all that jazz. So I do have a Titan rackable trap bar. I believe this is version two. Um, it's a, an antiquated design at this point, but it works very well for what I need it to when I use it very occasionally. So it's going to stay in here. Next, I have my Titan deadlift jack with my Rogue HG 2.0 collars. That's where they chill. So moving on, I have a Titan lat low row. I've had this for a long time, gotten a lot of use out of it, and it's been a great machine um, for the price. And I do have a Rep Double D Pro Style handle and a Rep 48 inch lat bar. That's not their Pro Series. I had their Pro Series and did not like it. So I actually sold it and down, downgraded to um, their normal version, which I like much more. The angles are much less harsh in this version. So I really like that. And I have a set of beater plates over here, just a set of 35s, 25s, and 10s that I leave there. I use this machine for like tricep extensions and face pulls and stuff. So typically those are the plates that I will throw on it when I use it for that. Working around, we have our first piece of cardio equipment, the push mower. Um, works pretty well and it cuts my grass as well. So two birds with one stone. I also have a, it's a Nautilus hyperextension or uh, not hyperextension, whatever, uh, back extension that I use occasionally. And I have a bucket of chalk down here. Next, I have the Titan belt squat. I really do like this, but can be tough to hit depth for shorter people. Um, so when my buddies 
come over and when I use it, I built this little platform to do T-bar rows off of, um, but also it actually ended up working very, very well to get extra range of motion on the Titan belt squat. So that was um, an un unintended um, benefit for it and really its main use in my gym at this point. So on this belt squat, there are three sets of beater 45s and then we have the Titan fan bike, which I overall, I like it. I mean, it, it has its downsides and I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I think about it. So no review on that one yet. Now, moving on, we have the X mark leg extension leg curl, which kind of just chills back here because well, when you're in a home gym, space is at a premium. So I really do like this piece. I actually reviewed this one and um, was featured on a little bit of an advertisement for it um, by Xmark, and I I was glad to do that because I do believe in it. I think it's a great option, especially for larger guys. I'm about 6'3", 250, and so this piece is removable, and so it fits for my uh, hamstring curls, but also gets out of the way for when I do quad curls, so really do like this piece. Now moving over here, we do have the wall control with some little knickknacks. We have first, I guess you could say main belt that I got, a Titan custom, or Titan, uh, Pioneer custom 10 millimeter thick belt, inside red suede, outside red uh, black garnet leather. I really, really like that belt. Um, of course, I have moved on to uh, bigger belts. Now though, um, I do have some resistance bands here that I use for accessory work and then some hip circles. And I also have a few pairs of straps, wrist wraps, a little tricep rope. I have three sets of mag grips, the close pronated, the wide and the medium pronated, and then just a little curl bar. Up here, I just have some sleeves um, you'll notice the knee sleeves are turned inside out because they stink really, really bad, but really like those stoic knee sleeves. Now, moving on, I have a fan for when it gets hot and humid here in Tennessee and a doctor heater for when it is cold. I have some crash pads for when I do heavy stiff leg deadlifts, heavy dumbbell presses, that kind of stuff, because I don't want to test the warranty for those dumbbells again. Here I have the FB5000 normal pad. I took off the bench when I put the Griffin wide pad on and I use it mainly for when I do like abs and stuff so I don't skin my tailbone alive. Next I have some other little knickknacks down here, just a few little ab wheels, little dip belt that I made, crappy Titan attachments that came with the lat low row. Why do they even send those? Um, and then I have monkey feet which I wasn't overly crazy about. Um, I, I guess I was strong enough to use a significant amount of weight on it. And at that point, um, you either loosen it enough to where it is uh, feeling like it's going to come off your foot or you tighten it up so much that your foot is going to sleep. So I couldn't find any middle ground for that when I used it for, you know, quad curls and hamstring curls. So for that, have little hitch pins or pins to go in for the monoliths that I don't use very much. And then the dip attachment for my rep power rack and a curl bar. So other than that, I just have a few decorations. Flag here, 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 and there are all from Zero Foxtrot. I really like those. And then this one and this one are from Liv Reed. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Got some try hard flags in here because I am an edge lord. So just to give you guys another quick pan around of the gym and where it stands right now, where it's probably gonna stand for quite a while because I am married and I would like to stay that way, so. Okay, so that is how the space looks right now. Of course, it's never done, guys, it's always, um, in flux, you're always finding things to change, improve, um, add, and trade out, but that's where it is right now, and I'm very happy with it. So 
If you guys have any questions about anything that you saw in this tour that you would like to know more about, um, or if you want to hear about my experiences, um, I have reviews for most of these pieces, and if I don't have one, then I'll um, definitely look into doing one. Just let me know if you would like to see that. I appreciate you guys watching this, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.